G'day, I'm Chris from Stony Creek Campers. Welcome back to another episode of our How To Series. Today we're going to be concentrating on your hot water system. They are an ultra rapid unit by Truma. So we're going to touch base on gas operation and 240 volt operation for you today. The very first one we're going to do is the gas operation. So a couple of components, a couple of things we need to touch base on. Number one, this here is a transit cover. It's on the outside of the unit to, designed to keep dust and wasps and things like that from making nests inside. So basically on the front of the cover for your trimmer, you can see there's a little picture here. It shows a thumb and fingers. So thumb's got an arrow pushing in and your index finger's pulling out. So what that does, when you push on here, you can see the top there spreads and allows you to pull that cover off from the top catch here. So push it on, it'll click, you can push and remove it. That way you're not fighting with it and possibly breaking it. Once that's off, we're going to put it somewhere safe. I personally like to leave it here on my wheel in a position that I can see it. So when I do my last minute walk around and my legs are up, I know exactly where it is, it's sitting here. Other people might like to stow it away inside one of your hatches on the van. That way you know it's out of sight, out of mind. It's not going to go missing or get stolen. That there leaves the unit in a position where we can safely light it. We've got our cover off. We know that we're not going to melt anything. Nothing's going to error out due to having that cover on. So we'll go and turn on our gas now. We know this is our gas locker. It's on the driver's side of the Scout 15. Thumb in the middle or finger, those latches will flip up and allow the door to drop down. So always support the drawer or the lid or the door when you're opening it up. Uh, that way we're not putting extra strain on the hinges. We can push this lever down, slide our gas out. Now when we turn our bottle on, we really only want to open it up a quarter of a turn. That's enough for the gas to come through. Doing it plenty of times isn't going to make it flow any faster, but what it will do is, in an emergency situation, when panic is there, you're not going to know, am, am I turning it the right way, or it's going to take longer to turn it off. So if we go just a quarter of a turn, you'll still get the same amount of gas flow, and in an emergency situation, it's just a quarter of a turn to isolate that bottle. So basically, quarter of a turn, as I said, we'll slide that back away and then we can latch down this door. All right, so now we're inside our Scout 15. We're gonna go through the key components of the hot water system. I'll show you how to run it on gas and how to run it on 240 volt and the things you need to look for to be able to make that happen. So your hot water system in the Scout 15 is located underneath the end of the bed. When you're at home and you're looking through your van, you'll notice it, you can't miss it. It's a big black hot water system with the words Truma written on top. Inside there'll be a gas line which will be in the open position from factory. Uh, you can see inside that cabinet too there's a water pump and a couple of other things down in there. That's basically not anything we need to do with that to run it, it's just letting you know where it is. A couple of things to concentrate on. When you're running your hot water system on gas, it's with this switch here, this is the Truma gas switch. So the top will read 60 degrees, the lower part will read 70 degrees. It's important to remember that when running it on 240 volts, you don't touch this switch, you leave it in the middle. We'll recap on the 240 volt after. So for today, we'll just go ahead and we'll select 70 degrees. The hot water system, you'll hear a solenoid click and then it will go ahead and start the ignition process. So the little igniter will tick away, it'll open up its gas supply and then the system will light. On the front here, you'll notice a little red light has come on. That means that the system's errored out. So whenever you see a red light, it means that it's not actually actively heating your hot water. What we do in this situation is we turn it off and then we'll try it again. The reason it would have errored out is because the gas supply hasn't bled through the system yet. So now we'll wait a couple of seconds and we'll see if it basically reds out again or if we're successfully lit. So we can see that stayed on this time, so we know that the hot water unit has lit. About 15 to 20 minutes would start to get hot water coming through the shower and the taps. So they're an ultra rapid system, they heat up nice and quick. That's really all there is to your gas components. When you finish camping, we'd go ahead and we'd turn that back to the middle. 
and then we know that that's turned off. We can then proceed to put the cover back on the outside and before we leave, isolate our gas bottle. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how to operate the Truma hot water on 240 volts. So the first step is leave our gas selector, the 60 to 70 degree, in the middle. So leave that one off, we don't need to touch that at all. Obviously at a caravan park when you're plugged in a 240 volt, this unit has the ability to do so. Uh, so that's when we're going to be looking at running it on 240 volts. To access that switch, we're going to take these cushions off. Depending on the hybrid you have, it's either under the cushions here or underneath the couch is typically the most common place to put it. We're going to lift up that. On the back wall here, it's a little bit hard to see, but there is a, a switch and it's illustrated hot water. Basically, we're gonna turn that one on uh, and then that's all we need to do. We'll close down this, we'll put our cushions back. That unit's gonna take approximately half an hour to heat up. Uh, then we'll have running hot water at our shower and our sinks. Uh, the one important thing to remember with the 240, when you've finished your trip or your holiday or however it's happening, always remember to lift that seat and turn that one back off again. That's going to stop you from running the hot water system dry and boiling it dry. If you get home and your water tank levels are low, you plug the van back in and you know, maintain your batteries, that hot water system is going to be boiling away regardless of what the water system is doing. So if your pump's off, for example, or your tanks are empty, you will burn that element out. So it's always a good habit to turn that back off and only use it as required. G'day guys, thanks for watching that episode on the hot water system. Hopefully I was able to teach you a little bit about it and its operation and answer a few of those questions you might have. Stick around for the next episode, we'll cover another aspect of your hybrid. Thank you.